Hi class! Welcome back to Fundamentals of Accounting, Business, and Management Part 1. So previously, we've discussed the definition and nature of accounting, the history or origin of accounting, the branches of accounting, and the area of specialization. So previously, according to um, American Accounting Association or AAA, so this is just a quick recap that accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decision by users of the information. So that's why accounting is also considered as the language of business. So kasi dun sa process, um, dun sa part ng communicating, so that communication part is the accounting process of preparing and distributing accounting reports to potential users of accounting information and interpreting the significance of this process information. So, ibig sabihin, um, nakakapagbigay ka ng mga accounting information sa iba't ibang klase ng mga users. So, that's why nakakaroon ng language or palita ng information about the business. So, so today, we're going to discuss another topic. And before we start, let me ask you some questions first. So, what business would you like to enter? So, some of you maybe gustong pumasok sa buying and selling of cars. Or some wants to have a coffee shop or milk tea shop or a restaurant, a gasoline station, a boutique, or a bakery. So from that, if you're the owner, what do you want to know about the business? So it can either be how much income have I earned for a certain period, or how much do I owe my suppliers? Or how much is the value of my inventory? So, those things ay yung mga as an owner na parang gusto mong malaman about dun sa business mo. Or meron ba akong um, receivables? Or meron ba akong mga kailangan bayaran? So, also, as an owner, sa tingin nyo, what possible decisions can accounting support? Kasi, di ba, we define as um, accounting na makakatulong sa decision making. So, ano sa tingin nyo yung masusuportahan ng accounting? So, it can either be, will I be able to pay my liabilities if I earn this much? Can I expand my business? Will I be able to afford buying new equipment, new furniture and fixtures? Or do I need to adjust my selling price? Or do I need to cut cost? So those things are the possible decisions that accounting can support. So, before we start, let me ask you this question. What if you are from a LGU? So, ano ba LGU? Local Government Unit. Do you think the LGU will be interested with your accounting reports or records? So, supposed to be, kunyari, ikaw yung owner na isang bakery. So, sa tingin mo ba, magiging interested sa accounting reports or record mo yung mga LGU? In order for us to answer that question, let me present to you Chapter 2. Chapter 2, Users of Accounting Information So, there are two broad categories of users of financial information. So, they are the internal users or also called as primary users and external users or also called as secondary users. So, from the word external and internal, so who do you think among the following are external or internal users? So, for number one, customer. So, do you think external or internal? External. And then, government. 
External Accountant Internal Bank External Manager Internal And teacher or professor External So the following external users are the lenders, investors, government, consumer groups, external auditors, and the customers. And the internal users are the managers, officers, internal auditors, sales staff, employees, and the owners. So, the internal users of accounting information are those individuals inside a company who plan, organize, and run the business. So, these users are directly involved in managing and operating the business. So, it includes the management, the employees, and the owners. So, let's start off with the management. So, for management, so they use the accounting information for analyzing the organization's performance and position. So, that's through the financial statements, the financial statement of financial position and the statement of comprehensive income or income statement and taking appropriate measures to improve the company result. So, if nakita na nila yung position nila or yung financial performance nila, for example, for one year. So, from there, they can assess the business if it is doing well or if they can improve some aspect. Like, for example, um, do they need to increase the selling price or do they need to cut some expenses? So, those things um, are the use of the accounting information for the management. And the next is for the employees. So, they use accounting information for assessing company's profitability and its consequence on their future remuneration and job security. So, sino nga bang employee na gusto na pumasok sa isang company na palugi na? So, of course, as an employee, you want the company that you are in na stable siya also for your remuneration or job security. So, that's why it's also the right of the employees to know the company's profitability and the stability of the corporation or the company they are into. So, next are the owners. So, they use the accounting information for analyzing the viability and profitability of their investment and determining any future course of action. So, as an owner, of course, you want the company to be profitable or to be stable or kung ano ba yung magiging lagay ng mga in-invest mo dun sa company na yon. So, it is your right to so, know if those the internal users are those individuals so again, inside a company who is plan, presented to internal users, business, usually so, 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 in the form of management users, accounts, budgets, so, external users, forecasts, or individuals and, and organizations outside a company who want financial information about the company. So, these users are not directly involved in managing and operating the business. So, ang mga common types of external users or secondary users are the creditors, tax authorities, investors, customers, and regulatory authorities. So, first one, the creditors. So, they use accounting information for determining the credit worthiness of the organization. So, let's say... Um, a company. So, usually, di ba, yung mga banko, bago kayo pautangin, ang hihingi nilang requirement is your financial statements. So, bakit iyon? Kasi, from that information or from that financial statement, makikita nila if kaya mo ba talagang bayaran yung uutangin mo sa kanila or if you really have the means, you have the asset or makikita din nila doon if baon ka na ba sa utang or if your financial um, performance is doing well. So, from there, the creditors can assess and can decide whether papautangin ka ba nila or hindi.
Next is tax authorities. So, sino ba yung tax authority natin di sa Philippines? So, it is the BIR or Bureau of Internal Revenue. So, they use the accounting information for determining the credibility of the tax returns filed on behalf of the company. So, syempre, um, sa BIR, they need to check if tama ba yung mga binabayaran mong taxes sa kanila. So, kasi di ba ang taxation or taxes are the lifeblood of our country. Country. So, in order for the, our country to operate as well, so, para may pagawa tayo ng mga tulay, kalsada, pampasweldo ng mga government officials, para sa mga estudyante na under sa, sa mga public universities or colleges. So, so, because of that, need din talagang bantayan ng tax authority natin yung mga tax returns na fina-file and binabayaran ng iba't ibang company or ng iba't ibang taxpayers. So, next one are the investors. So, this is for analyzing the feasibility of investing in the company. So, itong mga investors na to ay yung mga potential investors pa lang natin. So, Siyempre, as an investor, so ang ini-invest mo doon ay hard-earned money mo. So, hindi ka naman basta-basta mag invest lang sa alam mo kumpanya na um, palugi na or parang wala namang um, forecast or projection na magiging maganda yung return of investment mo. So, through the use of accounting information or, maki or yung financial performance and position of the company, makikita nila if uh, in the near future or through the projections, maganda yung magiging return of investment ko dito. So, that's the use of accounting information to investors. So, next are the customers. So, this is for assessing the financial position of its suppliers, which is necessary for them to maintain a stable source of supply in the long term. So, diba, we discussed previously in organization and management that there are certain types of customers. So, one type of customer is those customers who buy goods um, in order for them na ibenta din yon or i-manufacture yon para ibenta din. So, for example, yung financial position nung supplier pala nila ay hindi na maganda. So, what will be the effect sa kanila. So, it can either be matitigil yung production nila kasi syempre, kapag na bankrupt tong supplier nila and if yun lang yung supplier nila. So, matitigil yung source of supply nila para dun sa finished product naman nila. So, it will also affect their business and their business operation. So, kailangan din nilang makita and ma-make sure na maayos yung financial position and performance ng mga supplier din nila. So, di ba, sila yung customer, so may karapatan silang malaman if kaya bang supplyan ng mga supplier nila yung mga demand nila or if kaya bang ibigay ng mga supplier nila yung mga kailangan nila. So, that's the use of accounting information for customers. And then, last one are the regulatory authorities. So, it is for ensuring that the company's disclosure of accounting information is in accordance with the rules and regulations set in order to protect the interests of the stakeholders who rely on such information informing their decisions. So, sino-sino ba tong regulatory authorities? So, it can either be the SEC or Securities of Exchange and Commission or yung DOLE, Department of Labor and Employment. So, through the use or through the company's disclosure of accounting information, so, syempre, mapoprotect nila yung interest ng mga may-ari and also yung mga shareholders, stakeholders, kasi um, na-ensure nila na lahat ng accounting information ay na babanggit din sa kanila or na di-disclose sa kanila and nagpa-follow talaga nung tamang rules and regulation. And also, so, do naman sa part ng DOLE, are the employees paid according to what the law states or do they get the benefits required? So, through the um, accounting information, masasagot ng DOLE yung mga katanungan na yun. Kasi, for sure, and of course, required na nakadisclose yun dun sa accounting information or financial statements ng mga corporation. 
So here are some decisions made by the internal and external users of accounting information. So examples for internal users, number one, to analyze the profitability by products and operational units, to decide the need for cash flows to support the operations, to decide whether to buy or sell business segments, and then to decide whether to build new production facilities. And then for external users, examples, number one, to buy or sell the shares of the entity. So that those are for the potential investors. And then to loan money to the entity. And then to have sales or purchase transactions with the entity. So those are for the customers. And then to impose taxes. So the, those are for the regulatory authorities or for the tax authorities. So what information do they need? So financial accounting for external users and management accounting for internal users. So previously, um, sa lesson natin, so we discuss or we distinguish the difference between financial and management accounting. So again, financial are for general public purposes and management accounting is for the internal use. So Financial accounting information is used for decision-making by external users such as investors and creditors. And then for management accounting, it is used um, for decision-making by internal users such as the management or the operational managers. So for our exercise, exercise number one, classify each of the following as either external or internal users. So number one, academe. External. Number two, creditor. External. Number three, customer. External. Number four, employees. Internal. Number five, general public. External. Number six, government. External. Number seven, management. Internal. Number eight, owners or stockholders. Internal. Number nine, potential investors. External and then number 10, assistant director. Internal. So, again, to summarize our learnings for today, internal users of accounting information are those who are involved in planning, organizing, and running the business. So, they need more detailed information on a timely basis in order to support their decisions. And then, external users. So, the external users of accounting information are those individuals or organizations outside a company who are interested in its financial financial information. So, going back to our question when we started. So, diba, if you are a business owner, so do you think that yung mga LGU ba will be interested with your accounting reports or records? Of course. So, LGU are external users. So, they are also considered as regulatory authorities. So, of course, they will be interested in your accounting reports to make sure na nagfa-follow ka ng rules and regulations and if you are paying the right permits or licenses. And that ends our discussion for Chapter 2, Users of Accounting Information. Thank you class. Again, this is Ms. Zai for Accounting 1.